okay hello my friends today we will be cleaning um, our gold nugget from uh, ironstone and quartz as you can see it's quite heavily included yeah so what our uh, our task today is just completely clean it from from the stone and only leave gold that's what we will be doing and we will be doing it with caustic soda which you can buy this one you can buy in Foodland it's uh, 99 percent and the Foodland probably the only place you can buy them because everywhere else it would be 55 percent that's the one I purchased originally and I'm not planning to use it today but it might work so what we need is water that's a safety precaution gas torch and uh, stainless steel that's that's uh, absolute requirement because the caustic soda is extremely corrosive and it will eat anything glass and even some plastics like uh, from uh, pet bottles from coke it will eat them except for the propylene like this one and stainless steel so let's start safety first need to put gloves That's a really good gloves. You can buy them on eBay. They have uh, one side rubber, the other is just material, and it's very easy, very convenient to use them. So that's our caustic. We put about 1500 grams. about 70 grams here important to know the melting point for caustic soda is around 350 degrees and to make it's extremely hard to melt it without water originally put into into the caustic because it just doesn't want to melt it burns with a smell but doesn't want to melt so when the water evaporated so we just put our gold nugget into it as you can see here for the whole thing to start we need to start boiling it Flasks 
so the water is starting to evaporate now As you can see the, the mixture is pretty dense and just try to melt it will melt eventually but it, it you will feel this burning smell of, of I don't know what some organic stuff maybe the caustic they sell is not pure that what produces this smell yeah so the water is evaporated now so the temperature of this mix is, as I mentioned before, 350 degrees. And if you try to add water into here, it will explode into your face. So that's the last thing I would try to do. If you want to cool it down, just let it stay for like 15 minutes or 30 minutes. But don't even try to put water inside. You will regret. The process already started as you as you can see it I will remove it this and you see it's slightly bubbling no, it's not but I don't think it should be bubbling it's just dissolving the the stones from the from the nugget And we will let it cool down. What I would like to check is how how we progress. You can feel it through some moisture underneath, and it's making this sound because that that is 350 degrees now. Okay, we are back, and if you look inside, you'll see that's a totally solidified. It's a, this is hard caustic. So what we need to do now is to put a bit of water into it and remove our nugget. I put about 100 grams of water in. Now it's totally safe because a couple of hours passed since we heat it up and it's totally cool now. So, as you can see, it's totally hard. And to dissolve it, we need to heat it up and boil a bit.
remove a bit of excess of uh, cow stick by putting a cold water and dissolving. See that. Corn nugget is still there, and it's uh, as you can see, it's quite clean. Not, not completely clean. There are some pieces of stone still there, but it is quite good. It is quite good so I would say you probably need to boil it a couple of more times what I would like to warn you guys is that cow stick is dangerous stuff and you should really treat it as a molten metal because it is as dangerous as molten metal if if that will will drop on your on your skin you will pretty, ha pretty much have the same effect so that's my warning before you will plan to do the same as what you've just seen be careful and good luck